Hello everybody. So if you've ever used a Linux environment, um, Ubuntu, Alpine, uh, they've all got these package managers that you can use to download and install products on your Linux environment. So in Windows, I've shown you that you can use Ubuntu Terminal. Um, and in that, you do have uh, apt-get, right, which is your Ubuntu um, package manager, you know, and what is it, APK in um, Alpine that you can use. These are awesome, awesome package managers that, you know, you can get any of the packages that you're wanting to utilize, and then you can also use them for automation, which, which, which helps, right, setting up environments and all that jazz. Um, and then in Linux, there's also these um, cool tools like curl, right? Uh, which for a lot of people isn't all that interesting, but for a network admin or someone in IT, uh, it can be a very vital tool, you know, as, along with like ping. Um, but there, there is actually a utility in Windows that you can get, and it's called um, Chocolate. Um, and here, I kind of went through and I showed you guys that you can get like Docker for Windows and stuff like that. Well, this package manager for Windows, it'll install stuff uh, like uh, Docker. Uh, you can use it to install Node.js, obviously. You can use it to install basically any MSI and most packages as long as they're available um, in this package store here. Now, I haven't gone in depth to find out, you know, how you publish your own packages to them. There's obviously a route there. They have a Kickstarter. There's pricing for more enterprise use or user use, depending on what it, what your needs are, right? So if you go over here, you can kind of see their different pricing options um, and figure out what what is best for you. But to start out, you can go through and you can install. Now you can install using command, or you can install using PowerShell. If you're installing using PowerShell, there's an added step. The added step is this set execution policy, right? Um, and, <clears throat> and what it is, is they want you to do this get execution policy to see if you need to do that, because it can't be restricted. Um, and it's saying that it needs to be all signed or this uh, set to bypass, right? And so these are two of the options. There's one option that's missing, and I'll kind of show you what I mean by that because that's the actually that's actually the option that I'm using. So if I run this on my machine, I'm remote signed, and so you know what does that mean exactly? Well, we can come over here and go to the documentation, and there's what res restricted is basically no scripts can run on your machine, right? So we, we don't want that because a package manager, it's gonna be running scripts, it's going to be, you know, running and pulling pulling um, pack MSIs, packages down to your machine, executing them and installing them for you. So we don't want that. And then there's this all sign, which is um, by trusted, only scripts signed by a trusted publisher can be ran, right? Um, remote signed, downloading script, downloaded scripts, must be signed by a trusted publisher before they can be ran. And then unrestricted, you know, wild, wild west, do anything, right? So you're gonna wanna set it to one of these options. And that's basically what this command is doing for you. Um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and go through and run this. I've already done this and I've already set these up, right? Um, and I've preferred to use PowerShell in this instance. Make sure that when you are running either of these um, option any of these terminals right um that you elevate your permissions make sure that you are running them as administrator which is basically find your application right click it and say run as administrator tell it yes and let it go if you don't have administrative privileges on your box well then i'm sorry find the administrator so that you can do this kind of thing if you're wanting because you need the elevated privileges in order to run this, right? Um, and then you're going to end up with um, Chocolatey, which is a program called Choco, right? And Choco, <clears throat> right there, found it on the machine. Um, 
if it doesn't find it at first, uh, close, your, close your terminal in this case, mine would be PowerShell, open it back up and try the command again. But we've got Chaco, which we can then do, you know, what, what are my options? Basically, it's going to be the same thing as, um, or for the most part, that you can do with um, any of the other package managers for like Linux, right? You can list, you can search, you can install, you can uninstall, um, <clears throat> you can you can update, find versions, whatever. Um, this the help documentation in here is actually it's it's pretty good. So uh, we can go through here, and so say I want to do Chaco, and on Windows I don't have curl, so let's go ahead and search and. We're going to look for curl, right? And it's going to come back and it's going to find things that are related to curl or that for some reason, you know, that match that curl search. But right here, you can see the curls right here. So I'll just do a Chaco install curl, right? Now, this might fail. So you can see here that curl is already installed, which is good. And it's, it's saying, hey, if you're trying to install curl, it's already installed. Do we need to do a force reinstall? Well, I don't need to do that. But once it's done, I can now do a curl, you know, to whatever I need to go to. And it's saying, okay, well, what's your URI? So this is acting a little bit different than the curl in Linux might, but it, we've still got those similar features, right? So I just want to curl maybe google.com, right? I'm going to come here and you can see we got a 200. It's okay. And then all, all the information that I would have gotten back from a curl request on Linux for the most part. So this can do more than just curl requests, right? This can do um, Chaco search. I want to search for one of my favorite applications, and in this case, one of my favorite applications happens to be Notepad++, right? So if we do Notepad++, right, it's going to go out and search for it, and we can see Okay, so we have Notepad++. I can run a Chaco install Notepad++ right here. Just grab this guy, and it'll go out and grab that package, and it'll install it on my machine. I've already got that on my machine as well. But just to kind of explain to you what you can get from this, you can do Docker, you can do Node, you can grab a lot of these packages that you're wanting. Okay. So this isn't your only option. There is another route that you can take for installing packages on your system or, or finding out what packages are available to install on your system, I'm sorry. Um, and that's through the Chocolatey site, right? You come here to the Chocolatey site, up here at the top there's packages, right? So we can search for the packages or, you know, it starts listing them out. You can install Java, WinRAR, Flash, I don't know why you'd want to install Flash. 7-zip, all this jazz, oh, there's our, you know, Notepad++, VLC player, all of these wonderful utilities. You can even install Microsoft products, so Visual Studio Code. You can see I've already searched for this, actually. So if we go into Visual Studio Code, you can come down here and you can find, um, let's see if we can find something here. So Visual Studio 2013 Professional with updates. So say you wanted that, well you can run this command and this is going to go out and install it for you. And you'll notice here that this this green icon, so if we go into it and hover over this green icon, um, there are tests going on in the background testing these packages. Well this one passed, this one's good to go, right? So whenever you're, whenever you're looking through these, make sure you're looking at these indicators because there are some of these that are red, like this one right here. Well, this one didn't pass pass the test, so this one isn't guaranteed to work on your system. I mean, there's no real guarantee anyways, but this one has failed tests, so I mean, don't be surprised if it's not going to work for you. So I would avoid that one, and then whenever you see a gray one like this, I would also go in and look at that. So this one is telling you that there's a reason that it's been exempt from the certification. And so you'll just want to go through and read as to why it's been exempt, um, and see if it's something that you actually want to install and put on your machine. So I just kind of want to show you guys this because this does lead into that automated like um, system setup for a Windows environment. You have that option, you know. Uh, pa package managers are so useful for doing that redundant work, that's that, that re-setup every time you want to 
want to do these things. So I mean, throw throw these things into a PowerShell script. You know, so anytime you have to reset up your your environment or you have a different profile that you need to set up, just throw it in there so that you can then run it and receive all this stuff. I mean, there are other options like you can mirror your image. You can do imaging of any kind. Um, that is always an option as well. But I mean, if you're going from employment A to employment B, that's not a realistic option in most cases. Um, your employer isn't going to let you install your own image. They're gonna have an image already set up for you. So this would be one of those cases where if you had a repo or something, you had a, a script for Chocolatey where you could just execute it on your new machine and pull in all those tools that you're familiar with. Because I know personally, I take a day or a day or so setting up my machine, getting it to how I like it, you know, <clears throat> because we, we all do that. I mean, to work very efficiently, we, we have to have our environments the way we do. We like our specific tools. So I mean, make it easier on yourself, um, set something up like this, or, you know, just have fun with it because there's all types of things that you can find on here. Um, I just kind of wanted to share this with you. Uh, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we'll see you next time.